Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey and in today's video I'm just gonna kind of be talking to you guys about where I've been and what's to come for Rosemary Doodles and also just kind of take you guys along in a day of my life, I guess, without puppies. So if you're new here and you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below and let's just get into today's video. Alright guys, so the first thing I kind of want to do is hop on here and just kind of chit chat with you guys for a second. So I haven't posted on this channel for two weeks. Um, after all the puppies went home, we had 23 puppies as you guys know. And after all of them went home, I really just needed a couple weeks of a break. I needed to just relax and chill out and just catch up on life, I feel like. Um, if you don't already, you should definitely follow me over on my other channel. It's at Bailey and or Matt and Bailey. I'll leave a link to the channel down below. Me and my husband, Matt, started a channel and are sharing um, different things that we're going through. Um, we're actually struggling with a little bit of infertility right now, and we are vlogging and sharing all that on that channel so it has nothing to do with the dogs it's very much so more about my personal life but we are going through that right now so and we started going through that back in December so even like when I was showing up vlogging for you guys and you know I basically was putting on a smile a lot of times for you guys because I was going through a lot personally that I wasn't ready to share yet um so after going through all that mentally and just emotionally and then physically taking care of all those puppies and dealing with all that i just really needed a break um and it was much needed me and matt have went on a couple trips since the puppies left and i'm feeling like it's about time to get back into it we actually have puppies due march 13th so miss hattie is due march 13th with um some like standard size golden doodles they should be really cute it's our first litter of full like briggs puppies as well so briggs is the dad so i'm super excited for that um so it's time to kind of get my hind in in gear and start sanitizing and cleaning up everything from the past litters so basically when they all went home i basically did not touch anything like i straightened up a little bit but i left it and i was like i just need a break and i'll deal with this when i need the stuff again so that's kind of one of the main things we're gonna be doing in this first half of the vlog is kind of cleaning up and straightening up puppy stuff and starting to sanitize different things but that's kind of what's been going on um like i said if you're interested in knowing more about the infertility and all that that we're going through you can follow us over on that channel um that's where i'm going to be posting all that i'm not going to be discussing that on this channel this is strictly for dogs so if you are interested in my personal life go follow that channel and also if you haven't already make sure that you go on instagram please and follow at rosemary doodles 2.0 i'll leave it up here on the screen because our original rosemary doodles instagram was taken down by instagram for god knows what reason so we're trying to build up our following on there again and it would really mean a lot to me if you guys would take a couple seconds and go follow us over on there because it really sucks having to restart. Um, but yeah, basically, I guess that's kind of all the updates and all the things I wanted to chit chat with. Ignore my appearance. Um, coming off of a little bit of like some allergy sickness, I think. I don't think I was really sick, but I had major al allergies and I could still kind of do. In North Carolina right now, it's like the weather is like 70 one day and like 30 the next. So it's really messing with my sinuses. Um, <clears throat> so if I sound a little funky and look a little awful, that's probably why, but yeah, so I just want to come on here and chat for a second, let you guys know where I've been, what's been going on, what's coming with Miss Hattie having puppies and yeah, so we're going to have puppies again soon. So all that content will be back. I know you guys just love when we have puppies, but I'm going to go and show you guys kind of what the dog room's looking like, what we've got done and kind of what my plan is for today. So let's go. All right, guys, so we're in the laundry room. Laundry is going. We're finishing up dog laundry. I've got dog laundry in here. It's actually at one, so I need to kind of fluff it around and restart because it takes forever to dry those big things. More dog laundry. Matt, actually love him. Spent the time yesterday cleaning trays and grates for me. As you can see, like, the floor, like, it's just so dirty in here, like, toys everywhere that's still up stuff's in there so it's really honestly just a mess in here but i just wanted to show you guys real quick let me turn some lights on like look at this like it is not 
not ready for puppies in here whatsoever. So basically, if you can tell, let's just go here. I've got trash, trash. All those have been cleaned, so those are clean. That needs to be broken down and put up. Dog food, whelping cart needs to be restocked. All this is pretty much like fine and clean. I just need to kind of reorganize, refold. Um, the swing needs to be trashed, like they've destroyed it, the last litter, so I need to order a new one. Like just random crap everywhere from where I was just exhausted and tired and just did not want to continue cleaning up, like a random ball on the floor. So like all this stuff right here needs to be put in the washing machine and wash so it's ready for the next litter. Same with all this. Um, collars need to be washed. Those need to be washed. I need to break those down and put them up because we're not gonna need them for a few weeks, obviously. Um, and they kind of take up a lot of room and I need to wash the bedding and the blankets on top. So that needs to be done. In here needs to be, these need to be picked up and washed. This needs to be cleaned. Um, same with all this stuff. That needs to be picked up. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna take these down and clean them or just leave them up for one more litter. I don't really know. Like all these, like the binders are still in here. This needs to be cleaned. And then in here it just has like a bed and some food and stuff that needs to be all picked up and cleaned up. So it's a mess in here as you can tell, but we're getting somewhere. Take you in here. Here's everybody. Like I said, laundry's going. I'm always doing laundry. Hey, Jack. In this bathroom here, this bathroom has become my like dog bathroom. Those are clean and need to be put up. I think that needs to be just wiped down again. Matt washed all of this stuff yesterday for me while I was at track practice, which was so sweet of him. And then I have this stuff cleaning and sanitizing now. I've washed it and cleaned it. So I think what I'm gonna do is take this stuff and put it up or bring my bins in here and put it in here or in the bins and then take it out and then put that stuff on here and then I need to wash that right there in here. So I think I'm gonna put this stuff up first and then go from there. just finished doing some cleaning in the dog the dog room not the dog room the bathroom um getting like the different stuff cleaned and I put more stuff in to soak for a little bit the dryer my dryer is really old I really need a new one it takes a while to dry stuff especially to have big thick mats like this in here so I'm going to hang this up on my railing and on some chairs so I can go ahead and get the stuff that's in the wash in the dryer and start a new load so that's what I'm about to do all right guys now i got more laundry started more stuff in the dryer stuff's hanging to dry i'm gonna go back in here and i'm going to start washing those little things 
and drying them and putting them back in their bins. So I'm trying to get all the toys done and then we'll go back to the white things. These are easy to clean when it comes to like when they're put together but when they're not put together and you have to like really deep clean sanitize them it's honestly just kind of annoying it's not that it's hard it's just annoying so i'm gonna do this and then figure out what's next <laughs> These are all the toys that I put in here earlier. They're gonna, I'm gonna fill this up or finish filling it up with the toys that are in the wash machine. So the soft toys that I couldn't put in the bath. They're gonna go in here when they're done. These balls are in here. I'm gonna put those in there when they're done and then put them all back. I'm trying to get all the toys and all the plastic and all that stuff done and all the laundry done and the shelves filled before I start with the actual like vacuuming, mopping and all that of the actual room. It's one of those days in North Carolina where it's 70 degrees, so I'm letting the dogs out. It's actually starting to dry. It's been raining yesterday a lot, so the ground's still pretty damp, but it's a nice day for the dogs to get outside. As you can see, it's literally so sunny, blue skies, not a cloud in the sky, so we're going to come outside and run around for a little bit, take a little break from all my cleaning. So... I can take a break and chill and relax. You probably can't even see me because it's so bright. And they can run around and play. But it's super bright, so I'm going to go put the camera up, play with them for a little bit, and then get back to my duties of the day. Alright guys, it ended up being way prettier outside than I thought. So I got my laptop. I actually just got a new one. Super nice. And I'm going to sit out here while the dogs play and work on my Instagram post for the day, do some computer work, and potentially also start reaching out to some applications. Um, basically, I ended up releasing all the litters for this year to my email list and sending out an application for people to f fill out if they want to be on one of those litters. So I'm going to leave the link to that application down below now. Um, there's Obviously, Hattie and Briggs, who's due. We have some spots left on that litter. And then there's Ellie and Cooper, Harlow and Briggs, Henley and Fozzie, Tilly and Cooper, and Dolly and Cooper. So those are all our litters for the rest of the year. Um, Tilly and Dolly's litters will go into next year, similar to how they did this time. But I'm going ahead and getting their list started and all that. So if you're interested in any of those puppies, any of those litters, apply down below. So I'm going to sit here for a little bit, work on my computer watch the dogs play, and then we'll go in here in a little bit. As you saw, we spent about 30 minutes outside. I did some computer work. The dogs ran around and played on the property. I had to go find two of them because they were missing. Well, they weren't missing, but I just couldn't find them. And I finally did. I'm going to grab them some water in their bowl because they're all worn out. Like, look at this. Look at Indy. You struggling? Mm -hmm. I normally just fill up their water with, or their bowl with a cup because it's easier. She's filling up the whole thing. You have breath? You're not as bad, but she rolled in mud. I don't know if you can see. She was just sitting under a tree. She was so tired. It's not hardly. So, they are all going to hopefully chill out for the next little bit since they're all tired and worn out. And I am going to go back to cleaning up. How about? 
All right, guys, it's a wee bit later and I decided to sit down and have some lunch. I'm having leftovers from last night, so let me show you guys what I'm eating on. So I've got a pork chop, some green beans, and some mashed potatoes from our dinner last night. So I'm gonna eat these leftovers, got my Coke, watch some YouTube, and then probably start getting ready for track here soon. All right, so I am in my bathroom now. I stepped in here because it is, let me look, 12.52. I normally have to be leaving here by like 2.30, 2.40 at the latest for track practice. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just do a little bit of makeup and get dressed for that. So I've got that out of the way so I can just focus on doing stuff around the house until I have to leave. I also thought about marinating my chicken for dinner before I leave, so I'm probably gonna try to get that done. As far as the dog stuff, I could start another uh, like load of stuff um, as far as like in the bathtub. I don't know if I'm going to get around to that, but I've got a pretty good amount of stuff done like toys wise, laundry wise. So I'm going to focus on getting ready for track, doing my makeup, and then if I've got time, I might do a couple more things with the dog stuff. But if not, I'm going to probably start cutting up my chicken and putting it in a bag with seasoning for tonight. So it's a lot easier when I get home because I don't get home till after 530. So let's go ahead and bake this face so from this to all right so i am ready i just have my hair back in a clip did a little bit of makeup so i look presentable just got this nice tea that i bought at airy on this past weekend some biker shorts and then my brooks tennis shoes because it's actually like 70 degrees outside today so it's gonna be a nice day of practice i'll show you my outfit a little bit more up close in the mirror here so just a casual little outfit for track practice nothing crazy nothing wild so that's the outfit now I am going to go to the kitchen and I think go ahead and start chopping up my chicken and putting it in a bag to season while I'm going to practice and then we'll see what else we can get done it's 137 now all right, I just got done letting the dogs out again for a second because it's so nice today. And now I'm going to cut up my chicken and marinate it for our dinner. Tonight I am making, I'll probably vlog making it as well when I get home track, but I'm making one of mine and Matt's like favorite easy like meals. And it's actually relatively healthy. So it is just these um, easy homemade chicken gyros. It's a recipe off Pinterest. I don't do it exactly like to tea because we don't do onions, things like that. But basically you just have pita bread, you marinate your chicken and grill it or do it in the pan. And then you just cut up cucumber, tomatoes, you make a homemade tzatziki sauce and put it on top and it's honestly delicious and really refreshing and fresh and just makes you feel good after eating it. And like I said, it's one of our favorites. So basically I'm going to cut up the chicken and then put it in a bag to marinate while I'm gone. So as soon as I'm home, I just have to put it in the pan, cut up the cucumber and tomato, do the pita, and then I'm done. So I'm gonna get that out right now and then I'll show you guys what all I put in the bag to marinate the chicken. All right guys, I've got my chicken. I cut it up, I didn't wanna film it because chicken's kinda gross. So these are all the things I'm gonna add to my chicken. Olive oil, lemon, like half a lemon, coriander, onion powder, ground turmeric, crushed red chili flakes, ground cumin, paprika, and garlic. So you're gonna put all this in to marinate your chicken for later. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when I put it all in. All right guys, so I forgot to mention earlier, you wanna use salt and pepper as well, but this is what the chicken looks like now, all marinated. So I'm gonna pop this in the fridge. And then as soon as I get home, I can just put all this in the pan and grill it or whatever cook it you know what i mean and then later we will make the tzatziki sauce and we will also do like the um pita bread and the oven toast it and then cut up our cucumbers and tomatoes and then we garnish it with some lemon juice so that's basically all that is it's 208 now so i'm just going to probably chill until practice might try to get a clip of practice on my phone while i'm there but if not i will see you guys back later for dinner and yeah see you guys in a little bit all right guys i just got back from track and it's 7-eleven well i didn't get we didn't just get done with track basically what i was hopping on here to say was i know i talked to you guys about what i was going to cook earlier but 
We ended up having a mock meet at track today, so it ran a little late, and then we also had a parent meeting after practice, so that ran late. So me and Matt just decided to hop on into our local Mexican restaurant and get Mexican for dinner instead of me cooking since it was going to be late. So that's what we did. So that's why I'm not cooking that recipe, but I'm still going to leave it linked for you guys down below because it is one of my favorites. And we'll just have it for dinner tomorrow and my chicken will be extra marinated because it's going to be sitting overnight. Um, so I just wanted to hop on here and tell you guys that. So the dogs are outside now and then when they come in, we're going to feed them and then me and Matt might get in the hot tub and then get ready for bed since it's already 7. Um, but yeah, I wanted to hop on here and kind of explain why I didn't end up cooking like I said I was. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a little hectic, but it was a nice little day in my life and kind of allowed you guys to see what I kind of do when I don't have puppies. Obviously, I don't do the same thing every single day when I don't have puppies. But basically, my schedule is wake up, do either house chores or dog chores or anything like that um, before track, track, and then come home and normally... When I come home from track, I cook dinner, we watch a show, and we get ready for bed. So that's kind of like what my schedule looks like without puppies. But puppies are coming soon, like I said. Hattie's through the 13th of March. She's going to be coming next week to us. So they're going to be here before you know it. If you're interested in Hattie and Burke's puppy or you're interested in any of our upcoming litters, make sure to click the links down below to apply. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.